Hello everyone and welcome to episode 121 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. I got five questions for today, but before we get into that, I want to give a huge massive thank you for the support in the last episode with all the comments, questions, likes, all that fantastic stuff. I just, I greatly appreciate it, so thank you all very much. Now let's get into the questions, starting with Anson. ASA, how was your vacation? It was very nice. It was super duper ultra mega hot because I went to see family in Tucson, Arizona. Arizona. It was nice and fun to see family and all that. So yeah. So this is me editing the video. I realized before I started that I actually missed a question. Well, sort of more that there was two questions in this comment. The other one being, what do I think about the Star Wars game that's coming out soon? Outlaws. Let's answer that too. To be honest, I don't really have much of an opinion on Star Wars Outlaws yet, mostly because the game's not out yet, but I'm also kind of purposely trying to avoid trailers and spoilers and gameplay videos and just people genuinely talking about it because I want to go into that game kind of blind, kind of like not knowing what's going to happen. It looks fantastic and I'm excited to play it and it comes out soon because it comes out in August and I'm like, we're already kind of midway through June. So I'm like, we're already almost close to July and then once July's over, we got August. It'll be here before you know it. I don't know if that answered your question, but now let's get back to the original ASA video because I probably sound the same and everything probably looks the same and everything. So like, had I not said anything, no one probably would have noticed. That's the beauty of editing. Next question is from Scott Davis, ASA. If you could bring back one classic Lego theme, what would it be? And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. That's an easy one. I'm going to go with Lego Mars Mission. I loved Lego Mars Mission growing up as a kid. Lego Mars Mission is the stuff. If I ever win the lottery or become rich somehow, you can bet that I will buy every single Lego Mars Mission set brand new in the box. It would be so freaking awesome to have them all. <laughs> Next question is from B Brick Able ASA Pizza. Thank you for the pizza. That's that's a new one. Did you see the new Darth Vader minifigure? Do you think it can keep up with the white Rebels Stormtrooper? I, I definitely don't think it can keep up with the Rebels Stormtrooper because in my opinion, they're, well, for starters, they're two different things entirely, right? But I love the Rebel Star Wars Stormtrooper. But I did see the white Darth Vader. I don't know if I can show it here on YouTube. I probably could, but to save my own butt, I'm just not going to. I'm sure most of you have seen it and it looks really cool. We'll see him pretty soon because I think that set comes out in like August or October, something like that. Kind of soon, maybe September actually. But yeah, that'll be that'll be fun. I'm, I'm excited for that. Ooh, this is so exciting. Wouldn't you say, foie gras? Meow. Look at him. He's about to explode with excitement. Next question is from EK Starlord ASA. What is your thoughts on the new lightsaber whip in the Acolyte? And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. As of right now, when I'm recording this video, only two episodes of the Acolyte have been released and I have not seen the lightsaber whip yet. However, there was a trailer that kind of briefly showed the lightsaber whip. I don't know why it's getting so much hate. I mean, I also don't know why that show's getting so much hate in general. I think the lightsaber whip looks really cool and I'm excited to see the episode where it's in action. You know, I think that'll look really cool and I think it'll sound cool. I hope it sounds cool. I like it. I don't know why anyone hates it, but I also don't know why people are hating on the show. I know that this wasn't the question, but so far, I know I've only seen two episodes, but I really enjoyed it and I think the Acolyte is really good. And the last question is also from EK Starlord ASA. What is your thoughts on the new suit reveal for Superman Legacy and then a bunch of potatoes? Thank you for the potatoes. I mean, to me, honestly, it kind of just looks pretty much the same as all the other Superman suits we've seen. So like, I know some people are like super excited for it, but to me, I'm just like, looks pretty much the same. I don't think it looks bad, but I also don't think like, oh my gosh, that's so amazing, you know? Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's episode of ASA. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for all your wonderful questions. If you have another question or two for the next episode, leave it down below in the comments. Leave a like while you're down there. Maybe subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And if you're interested, I made a top five shorts of my favorite battle packs, or you can check out some of my more recent LEGO Star Wars short reviews. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!